Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, John Cena. Now, John, after what happened last Friday night when you were called out by one of the co-founders of UCW, Mr. Amazing Xander James, what are your thoughts on Xander having the audacity to call you out, and what is your response to his challenge? Well, Michael Cole, all I have to say is this. After both myself and my tag team partner, John Morrison, defeated both Xander and his tag team partner, Therm, the so-called Mr. Amazing isn't looking so amazing anymore. I'm surprised this kid had the stones to call me out with the kind of talent he possesses. He got his ass kicked by John Morrison last Friday on SmackDown, and Morrison isn't even half the competitor that I am. No disrespect to John Morrison, but listen, I am a 10-time WWE champion, and Xander thinks he can spice things up by adding an, a stipulation, making it a ladder match. I am a former Money in the Bank winner. I defeated multiple WWE champions in that match. I defeated The Miz, Chris Jericho, Big Show. Him making it a ladder match really doesn't help him out anymore. What is my response to his challenge? I accept. For me to go up against a superstar the caliber of Xander James, it would be nothing more like me going up against some of the jobbers in our company. Just wait till this Sunday when I beat your ass in that ring. I've already talked to John Laurinaitis. And we've decided that if by some miracle you manage to pick up a victory, there will be a contract up there for the licenses for the WWE Live Tour. Xander, there is no way you'll be able to beat... What's up guys, it's Mathis97 and welcome back to another episode of WWE 13 Universe Mode. In the last episode we saw Saturday Night Heat close down. That's right, Vince McMahon representing the Attitude Era. He's pretty much the commissioner of the Attitude Era as he finally made his first appearance in this Universe Mode. He shut down Saturday Night Heat. Who knows how this could affect the runnings as far as like every single brand out there. We still have the UCW... The war against UCW going on, as we saw in that interview earlier, John Cena accepting the challenge by Xander James in the ladder match, and it has been determined that if Xander James should win, then the SmackDown Live Tour show will be given up to East to UCW, and Xander James, well, he'll get what he was, I don't know, he'd, be, he'd get what he was hoping for, I guess. I mean, we all know John Laurinaitis, he still hasn't made his appearance. We assume he's the one running the show, but we can't be we can't be too sure on that. I mean, 
with Vince McMahon running the Attitude Era show, he had to leave somebody in charge. Is it Stephanie? Is it Shane? I don't, I don't think it would be Shane. We've already seen him competing over on the Attitude Era show, and I'm pretty sure Stephanie is over there as well. So we're going to have to... My best guess is that John Laurinaitis is running the show. Who knows? Who knows who's in charge of the WWE at the moment? But anyway, now, as we can see, we have Dolph Ziggler with Big E Langston at ringside taking on S.H.I.E.L.D. member Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns, he's got Dean Ambrose at ringside with him. And it's kind of a little bit... Eh, it's kind of a little confusing here because you would think maybe the two bigger superstars, Roman Reigns, would go up against Big E Langston. But Big E, you know, he's had his sights set on Wade Barrett after that UCW WWE Battle Royal a few weeks ago. That led, with Wade Barrett eliminating Big E Langston, that led to what's going to be one of our matches on the SmackDown Live Tour coming up this Wednesday. It'll be Big E Langston going one-on-one -on -one with Wade Barrett, the bare knuckle brawler from England. He'll be going up against Big E Langston, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Nice leg sweep there by Roman Reigns, and he's the only S.H.I.E.L.D. member to not have competed in a match yet. We saw Dean Ambrose last week defeat the WWE Champion CM Punk, which led to Dean Ambrose being involved in our number one contenders triple threat match later tonight. It'll be Dean Ambrose going up against former, former number one contender Chris Jericho and Brock Lesnar. Yes, the Beast has returned. As we all know, he was eliminated from that battle the four-man battle royal to kick off Monday Night Raw on the inaugural episode that was our first ever main event and Brock Lesnar he came back earlier on tonight and he had he had a statement to say attacking John Cena making a statement after Cena you know he made his declaration of war against Xander James so we'll see those two going out of the pay-per-view could we see Brock Lesnar challenging CM Punk for the WWE title at the pay-per-view at all it all depends and if you guys hear something in the background, my neighbors upstairs are vacuuming or something like that. So if you hear that, I am sorry. I apologize. But anyway, now, big elbow drop there by Roman Reigns. And so far, Roman Reigns, he's had the offense. The offensive. Oh, my God. What a double underhook butterfly style DDT. And it looks like Dean Ambrose is uncovering the announce table over there. And now what's this? Dean Ambrose, he's setting up Dolph Ziggler for a spear. He just speared Ziggler out of his boots as we see the instant replay there. Roman Reigns connecting with the spear. And he just pretty much broke Dolph Ziggler in half. And now it's this Roman Reigns. He's going after Big E Langston because we all know managers like to break up pins. Roman Reigns into the cover, hooks the leg. One. No, a kick out by Dolph Ziggler. And I'm sorry, Roman Reigns did not hook the leg. Maybe that, along with the time that Dolph Ziggler was spared. Nice German suplex there by Roman Reigns. But Dolph Ziggler, he was spared a little bit. As Roman Reigns, he had to go take out Big E Langston so he wouldn't interfere, distracting the referee for between pinfalls or something like that. But anyway, shoulder tackles into the corner by Roman Reigns. And now Roman Reigns driving the knee into the face of Dolph Ziggler. But it, shield, the shield upon debuting in this universe mode, smashing the knee of Dolph Ziggler into the map. But anyway, Dolph Ziggler, we all know he's busy. He's got a cha United States Championship match this Sunday against Jack Swagger. The United States title will be on the line at Over the Limit. And Dolph Ziggler, he'll be taking on Jack Swagger as he's had quite the rivalry between the team of Zack Ryder and Jack Swagger finally getting his United States Championship shot. And what is this? Big E Langston gets Irish whipped right into those steel steps and that just took out Big E Langston. Roman Reigns now looking to capitalize on Ziggler. But anyway, the Shield, they've had some pretty, they've had a fair amount of success so far in the WWE. We all know Seth Rollins last week on the SmackDown Live Tour picked up a victory over The Miz. And that, Seth Rollins, he made his debut. Now it's time for Roman Reigns to make his. And against the United States Championship number one contender, Dolph Ziggler, if you can pick up a big victory here over possibly one of the greatest talents, ugh, one of the greatest talents heading into the future for WWE. And what is this? Roman Reigns now, he's going out after his bodyguard, Big E Langston. And now Roman Reigns went for the shot to the face, but he was unable to connect. Oh, and now Roman Reigns. He just, with that military press slam, drops Big E Langston right onto the steel steps. And now Dolph Ziggler trying to capitalize off the distraction by Big E. Back suplex. Nice maneuver there by Dolph Ziggler taking down Roman Reigns. And now Dolph Ziggler. He's got Roman Reigns in a headlock. But Roman Reigns using his power. 
able to get out of the hold. Nice elbow to the face there. Busted open Ziggler. And it looked like he was going for a spear there, but Ziggler was able to block it. Just able to dodge. Sidestep the spear of Roman Reigns. And a nice takedown there by Dolph Ziggler. Now, Dean Ambrose, we haven't seen very much involvement from him in this contest. Big clothesline there by Roman Reigns. And now Roman Reigns off the ropes. Kick to the face. Nice move there by Roman Reigns, showing his sadisticness. But Dolph Ziggler now is countering the Irish whip, sending Roman Reigns into the corner. And there's a nice body splash into the corner. And Ambrose is up on the ropes. What a match that would be in the future if we could ever see Dean Ambrose facing Dolph Ziggler. Well, in this universe mode or in real life, you know, that'd be a great match to see. That I hope WWE could actually book that sometime. Maybe we'll even get to see it in our universe mode. But anyway, Roman Reigns, Irish whip, and a spear through the ropes. And Dolph Ziggler bounces head first off the announce table. And now the action is spilled to the outside. Dean Ambrose getting involved here. A crucifix take down there. I'm surprised Roman Reigns went for such an acrobatic maneuver. Ziggler now raking the eyes. Referee at a count of three. And it nice backdrop counter there by Roman Reigns. And again, Ziggler going back to the eyes of Roman Reigns, trying to get some offense in this match. Roman Reigns, big military press slam there by Roman Reigns. Referee at a count of five. Ziggler's just taking a lot of punishment in this match. Referee at a count of six. Roman Reigns now, Iris whipping Dolph Ziggler into the barricade. Oh, what is this? We've seen this before by Roman Reigns. Oh my God, spear through the barricade. We've seen this in the past by Roman Reigns, and he just took Dolph Ziggler out, spearing him through the barricade. As Biggie Langston, he's he was nowhere in sight to be able to help out, and Dean Ambrose there alongside Roman Reigns to prevent Langston from doing anything. And that's a 10 count. Roman Reigns picks up the victory via count out over Dolph Ziggler. And Biggie Langston, he, he was unable to do anything there to save Dolph Ziggler there as the numbers game between Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns just isolating Ziggler in this match. Gets Roman Reigns the count out victory and that spear through the barricade is just sadistic. What a sick move by Roman Reigns, but it got him the win and that's all that matters to the Shield. So far undefeated in this universe mode in singles competition, each three have gotten their own victory over WWE's superstar competitor. Welcome back, everyone, to Monday Night Raw. As we see Chris Jericho, Dean Ambrose, and Brock Lesnar. They're staring each other down. Let's get this triple threat contest underway here. These three superstars are ready. Let's get... And now, as we see, we're about to get this match underway here. Chris Jericho going up against Dean Ambrose and Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, we haven't seen him since week one of Universe Mode. Brock Lesnar, though, he made one hell of a statement attacking John Cena early on tonight. And a nice double unhook throw there, tossing... Just throwing Dean Ambrose off the top rope there. Now Brock Lesnar looking to outpower the young rookie Dean Ambrose here. 
And there was a nice belly-to-belly -belly slam. Dean Ambrose now sweeping out the likes of Chris Jericho. And now as we see, Brock Lesnar slides back into the ring. Ambrose ducks behind Chris Jericho now as he looks to get the advantage. Backbreaker. And he follows it up with a neckbreaker to Chris Jericho. And Chris Jericho, he's got... After losing his WWE Championship match to CM Punk at Extreme Rules, we haven't really seen much of Chris Jericho here on Raw. And I'm not sure exactly what the Shield could be thinking about that, but what is this? Brock Lesnar. Oh, what a takedown there. Just tossing Dean Ambrose up, grabbing him by the leg. Almost a spinning, almost like a side fisherman suplex throw there. And now Lesnar, he's going out after the announce table. Nice back suplex in the ring by Chris Jericho. Lesnar outside of the ring, tearing the monitors off the announce table. And now looking to come back in the ring. Nice neck breaker there by Chris Jericho. And now Lesnar looking to get involved. But Ambrose sweeps out the legs of Brock Lesnar, the beast. And now as we see, all three superstars are out of the ring now. Ambrose up on the ropes. Chris Jericho's got a set of steel steps there. And as we all know, in a triple threat match, no disqualifications, no countouts. You can only win by pinfall or submission. And as we see, Dean Ambrose, Irish whip Brock Lesnar into the corner. And now Dean Ambrose, big chop to the chest of Brock Lesnar. And again, Dean Ambrose, back with those chops. Not exactly the Ric Flair style. These are more of a Kali, Big Show chop style. But they still did their number on Brock Lesnar here. And now Chris Jericho, he looks to get back into things. Nice backbreaker pulling on the hair of Dean Ambrose and just driving his knee into the spine of Dean Ambrose. And now Ambrose, he's got Lesnar, but Lesnar ducks behind, getting out of the headlock. And now Brock Lesnar, Irish whipping Dean Ambrose into the corner. And there's a shoulder tackle, and then there's a chop. There's the Ric Flair chop by Jericho. And a nice clothesline out of the corner there by Brock Lesnar, taking down Dean Ambrose. And now Chris Jericho, he's on the outside here. Went for a drop kick, able to break up that lockup between Ambrose and Lesnar and now Jericho with a shot to the face of Ambrose nice backdrop there by Ambrose taking down Brock Lesnar and we already saw Roman Reigns get a victory for the shield tonight there you see Ambrose with the knee lifts can Dean Ambrose can he get the victory here for the shield as well see if the shield can go 4-0 so far in competition and there's a leg sweep there by Dean Ambrose and Ambrose here Lesnar with a gut kick and now Ambrose ducks behind Lesnar and he's got Lesnar, he's going to Irish whip into the corner. And now was Ambrose looking to follow that up with? Just smashing Lesnar's face into the turnbuckle, but it only took one for Lesnar to be able to counter there. He did not want his face to go into that solid steel. And what is this? Jericho smashing Ambrose's face across the mat and connects with a flying elbow. And now Brock Lesnar, just the mounted punches to Dean Ambrose. Right to the face, that could bust you open there. And now Chris Jericho, crossbody. Nice springboard crossbody there. Showing off his high flying maneuvers there. And now Brock Lesnar, he's got Dean Ambrose by the arm, but Ambrose able to duck behind. And he shoves off Brock Lesnar. Chris Jericho now, nice counter by Dean Ambrose. And Ambrose, back suplex to Chris Jericho, dropping him in the center of the ring. And now Jericho's over by the ropes here. He's got Ambrose in a headlock. Nice Irish whip by Jericho, and it looked like Ambrose tripped on the steps there. As he, that could do some damage to your knee. And now Lesnar, he's got Ambrose. Nice power slam there, and here's a cover, hooks the leg. One, no, not even a one count. Chris Jericho gets over there to break it up. And now Lesnar sweeps the leg out of Chris Jericho. And he's got the Achilles tendon lock locked in. And Brock Lesnar, he has to break the hold there as Dean Ambrose gets in there to interrupt it. And Chris Jericho knocks Lesnar to the outside. Dean Ambrose now, German suplex to Chris Jericho, dropping him by the ropes there. And now Lesnar's up on the apron. Ah, that water's good. Headbutt there by Dean Ambrose, dropping Chris Jericho. And there's an elbow drop connecting there. Dean Ambrose misses off the second one. And now Jericho, the abdominal stretch locked in on Brock Lesnar. Can he make him tap out here? I don't think I've ever seen Brock Lesnar tap in my life. And Ambrose gets over there to break it up, saving Lesnar there. Saving the matchup for the Shield. And now as we see, Brock Lesnar, he's got Jericho. Another back suplex to Jericho. That's got to be doing a number to the upper back sort of neck area. And what is this? A triangle choke locked in. An armbar maneuver there by Brock Lesnar. And again, Ambrose gets over there to break it up. The referee now knocked out against the ropes. Damn it, we got to get some sturdier refs over here. Brock Lesnar, belly to belly. Dropping Chris Jericho on his back. And now 
Again, Brock Lesnar with another submission hold. He's got the rings of Saturn, but Ambrose gets over there to break it up, and Lesnar, he's got to break the submission hold now. And Lesnar, he's got the arm. Could he be going for another submission? But no, this time Chris Jericho, he's a submission special specialist in, in his own right. And now Jericho looking to take advantage. There's a chop. He's now got Lesnar up on the top rope. And now Jericho, shot to the face there of Lesnar. The big right hand, and now Jericho, he's got Lesnar off the top. Superplex, and he connected right onto those steel steps. And that, that'll do a number to Lesnar's back, as if the superplex wasn't enough. It was amplified onto the steel steps, and there's a double gut buster by Ambrose and Chris Jericho. And now Lesnar back onto his feet here. Big clothesline taking down Chris Jericho, and now Brock Lesnar, he's got Jericho on his feet. Roll up there by Dean Ambrose, here's the cover. One, two, no, Jericho, he's able to flip it into his own roll. One, two, no, Lesnar breaks it up there. And Dean Ambrose, this is where he gets glitched. He's done for the match, he doesn't move, he's stuck there. Nice belly to belly takedown there by Brock Lesnar. But Dean Ambrose almost got Jericho there. He almost caught him off guard there with the O'Connor roll-up. And now Lesnar, he's got Jericho by the arm. Brock Lesnar, gut buster there to Chris Jericho, taking down the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla. And now Lesnar, he's got Jericho up. He's already hit this power slam on Ambrose. And he connects on a Chris Jericho now. Thought he would have hooked the leg there, but he decided not to go for a cover. And now Lesnar, he's got Jericho. Maybe set him up for a power bomb here. But Jericho, nice face crusher. Using Lesnar's weight, or using his weight to force Lesnar forward. And there's a drop kick to the face there of Brock Lesnar. Jericho now starting to work on the head of Brock Lesnar. But Lesnar now ducks behind Jericho. Jericho with a nice counter. He's got Lesnar in headlock. And Jericho slapped to the back of the head there. That, what disrespect shown by Chris Jericho. Still maintaining his heelish nature here, it looks like. And now Chris Jericho showing no, no respect to Brock Lesnar. Looking to bend and break the rules, but there are no rules, no disqualifications as he just chokes out Lesnar in the ropes there. That's a patented Chris Jericho maneuver there. And now Brock Lesnar, he's got him by the head. Elbow to the face, nice hangman's elbow smash there. And now Lesnar, he's got Jericho. Big knee lift to the face. And that may have just knocked Chris Jericho's lights out for good. But as I say that, Jericho makes it back to his feet. And now Chris Jericho goes for the gut kick. But Lesnar caught the leg. Oh, Lesnar's got the Kimura lock locked in. Is he going to break the arm of Chris Jericho? Chris Jericho, he could tap out to the Kimura lock. Lesnar, he's broken many a superstar's arms in the past with that hold. But Jericho manages to roll out of it. Both of these superstars. Code breaker! Code breaker by Chris Jericho. That's got to be it. Cover. One. Two. No, Lesnar. The beast, Brock Lesnar, manages to kick out. And there's a clothesline taking down Chris Jericho. But Lesnar, I don't know how he managed to kick out of that one. Code breaker. Now, what is this? Power bomb by Brock Lesnar there. Taking down Chris Jericho. And now Lesnar kicked to the leg of Chris Jericho. And Brock Lesnar, I thought he was done there off that code breaker. But then again, oh, a neck breaker. And the referee is out of it. Chris Jericho takes down the referee. But then again, I thought Jericho would have been forced to tap out to the Kimura lock or else his arm would have been broken. But as I was trying to say, both of these superstars, experts in submission holds. We all know Brock Lesnar, he's got not only the Kimura lock, but he's got the Brock lock, and that will just completely tear up your leg. Nice jawbreaker there by Brock Lesnar. Whereas Chris Jericho, master of the Lion Tamer slash Walls of Jericho, and he can hit that maneuver from almost anywhere. You could be going off the top rope, Jericho could hit it, and a back suplex there. You could just be on the ground, and Jericho will flip you over for the Lion Tamer, and just wrenching his knee into the back. That's a vicious submission hold. But anyway, what is this? Jericho, he's got Lesnar up. Look at the power, suplex, and into the cover. One, and a kick out by Brock Lesnar. Only a one count there as Lesnar able to make it back to his feet. Nice backbreaker there by Chris Jericho, taking down Brock Lesnar. And now Chris Jericho covers up Brock Lesnar. One, and a kick out again by Brock Lesnar. And now Chris Jericho, he's got Lesnar in a headlock. Nice counter there by Brock Lesnar. And real quick, if you guys are new from the Sports Gaming Universe channel, I uploaded a video over there the other day. And um, yeah, so if you guys are new around there, thanks for coming around. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here and if you enjoy this kind of universe mode. Anyway, Chris Jericho ducks behind. Kick to the leg of Brock Lesnar. And a flashback neck breaker taking out Brock Lesnar. Jericho now, he's looking to go for the head here. Big knee left and now Brock Lesnar's been busted open. And now Chris Jericho, what is this? Brock Lesnar, he's got him by the arm. Back suplex there, taking down Chris Jericho. And now Brock Lesnar, picking up a groggy Jericho. Jericho's dazed here. 
Nice German suplex there. Belly to back throw there by Brock Lesnar. And now cover. That's got to be it, right? One. No, another kick out by Chris Jericho. What a back and forth contest we've had here between these three. Well, these two men. Is, Ambrose is pretty much out of this contest here. Jericho, back suplex there by Brock Lesnar. And now Lesnar into the cover, hooks the leg. One. And another kick out by Chris Jericho. It's going to take more than that to put away the nine-time Intercontinental Champion. First ever undisputed champion, Chris Jericho, the human highlight reel. Going up against the beast, Brock Lesnar here. Lesnar now with a headlock. Just nice chain grappling here. Nice snapmare takedown by Jericho. And an elbow to the back of the head by Chris Jericho. And now Jericho, he's got Lesnar dazed. He should capitalize here. Jericho trying to figure out what he's going to do. Now he goes for the pin. And not even a one count, Lesnar kicks out. Jericho sort of took his sweet time there. Nice clothesline by Brock Lesnar. Taking down Tri Chris Jericho. I don't know why I was going to say Triple H. And now Brock Lesnar. Again, he's got the rings of Saturn locked in. This time for real as Le Ambrose isn't there to break it up. Is Jericho going to be forced to tap out to the rings of Saturn here? No knee lift to the face by Chris Jericho. He's able to get out of it. And Jericho shot to the face there. Connecting with an elbow. And now Jericho. Irish whip off the ropes. Chris Jericho. Flashback neckbreaker. Taking down Brock Lesnar. And now hooks the leg. One. No, another kick out by Brock Lesnar. What's it going to take to put away one of these two superstars? Chris Jericho. He's sweeping out the legs of Brock Lesnar. He's got going for the walls. Can you lock it in? The walls of Jericho are locked in on Brock Lesnar. The Beast is going to have to tap out here. I've never seen Lesnar tap out before, but no. Lesnar is able to overpower Chris Jericho to get out of the walls of Jericho. And now Brock Lesnar. Irish whip to Chris Jericho. And he throws him to the outside there. Brock Lesnar taking down Chris Jericho. And this is a false count anywhere match. Big flying elbow there by Chris Jericho. And now hooks the leg. Referee trying to get into the cover, but he was nowhere. He was not even close to being in position for that one as Lesnar was able to kick out before even a count of one. Cover now by the referee. Can't even get to the outside in time. And again, the referee slides back into the ring. THQ should probably fix that. If it's a false count anywhere, maybe you could... Uh, have it so that they stay outside. Powerbomb through the announce table there by Brock Lesnar. And now all Lesnar has to do is cover him. But no, Lesnar's not going to do that. Irish whip. Brock Lesnar almost ran to the chairs there. Code breaker. Code breaker by Chris Jericho. That's got to be it. That's the second one here. Cover. No, not even a one count. How did? How is Lesnar kicking out of these code breakers? Lesnar's now taking two code breakers. But the man beast will just not stay down. Brock Lesnar, former MMA fighter. He's got Jericho into the barricade. And what is Lesnar going to do here? Lesnar. Oh, come on. We just fixed that barricade since Roman Reigns spear through it. Spear, but... Oh, my God. Lesnar just speared Jericho through the barricade. That's the second time that barricade's been broken. Do you realize how difficult it is to put that back together? We're going to have to fine you for that, you know. And now Lesnar, he's deciding not to go for the cover. I don't know what Lesnar's doing. There are no count outs. Maybe he's looking to go after Dean Ambrose here. Lesnar now just sort of taking his time, admiring his dirty work here. As Jericho trying to stagger back to his feet here. Lesnar now, he's got Jericho belly to belly suplex onto the outside. That is a concrete floor protected by a thin padding. Cover now, hooks the leg, two count, and three, it's over. There was no way Jericho would be able to kick out of that. After getting speared through the barricade like that, powerbomb through an announce table. I don't even know how Lesnar managed to kick out of two code breakers. But somehow the Beast manages to keep himself alive. And what is this? Beth Phoenix. As we all know, a few weeks ago, Beth Phoenix came out to congratulate Jericho. Maybe looking to help him here. Oh my god, things just cannot get any worse for Chris Jericho. Low blow by Beth Phoenix. How can things get any worse for Chris Jericho? Thanks for watching.